Hello everyone. Today's video is on why people are leaving Windows 11 for other operating systems. What is going on in the Windows world? Just going to show you something here. This is a chart by uh, Stat Counter Global Stats. Uh, last year, Windows 11 had 27% of uh, the overall uh, Windows market, and now they went down to 25.65%. Uh, some went to Windows 10, and some went to, to Linux, and other operating systems. Uh, the CPU requirements are also a big barrier for people. Uh, you need an, eight, an Intel 8th Gen and up, or a Ryzen 3000 and up, a uh, 1 gigahertz CPU, and uh, I'm just going to show you something. I'm going to show you my CPU here, where it says processor, I don't know if you can see this, but it's an Intel, and it's an i5-2450, it's a second generation, and it has 8 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes of uh, RAM, and it runs just fine, it runs Windows 11 just fine. Why do they want me to throw away a perfectly good computer that can run Windows 11 just fine? I just don't get it, folks. I really don't. Another thing is some applications are moving into the cloud, like this mail application here. You used to be able to go somewhere, like to the, the cafe or the park, and you could work on your emails. And then when you get, you know, when you get to the internet, you can send them through or whatever, right? And there's other applications also that they want to uh, put just online. People do not like that. The search, I have uh, turned off the, the ads, but there's usually ads here, and they intend to put more. Your start menu, that's going to have ads here on the bottom in the, near, in the very near future. What is wrong with these people at, at Microsoft? Are they incompetent or what? This is just terrible. Another thing that I can see being a big problem is uh, you'll see little menus and uh, we're in the task manager here. Look at how small this print is. There's nothing that I can do to make that print bigger without making all these other prints a lot larger. That's terrible. The little context menus that you get, it's also, you know, fine print like that. Let's go to File Explorer. OneDrive, if you turn on OneDrive, it'll automatically start backing up your files, your pictures, your music, into the cloud. And uh, once, once that's full, they will be prompting you to um, to buy more space. You know, this is another catch that they get you on for you to spend more money. It's like everywhere you turn, you know, you're spending more money in Windows now. These things up here, you know, for example, you know, let's say you left-click 
and you're looking to the elite, where's the elite? Okay, you gotta go up here, you gotta use this. This is the elite, this is where you're gonna delete. Rename is up here. Okay, or you gotta show more options and then look for things that you need here. Here's the elite, here's rename. Yeah, I don't like I don't like Windows 11 at all, and I don't like what's happening to Windows at all. What do you think about Windows 11? Are you going to be moving to Windows 11? Are you going to be moving back to Windows 10? Are you going to be moving to Linux? What's your plan? By the time uh, Windows 10 is uh, finished. What is your plan to continue? What operating system are you going to use? Let me know in the comments section. And if I get enough comments, I'm going to go to Twitter and ask Microsoft to come to this video and, and read the comments section. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we'll see you in the next one.